How to use the 4% and dollar breakout scans to find buy ideas daily is what we'll look at in this video. In order to do this, what you need to have is you need to have scans for 4% breakout for the bullish side. Bullish side is basically a scan which looks for a stock of 4% whose volume is higher than yesterday's volume and volume is greater than 100,000. Similarly, the bearish side of this looks for a stock which is down 4% plus on a volume and also uh, the dollar breakout dollar breakout basically looks for a stock which is up 90 cents from its opening price or down 90 cents from its opening price so either the stock is up or down 90 cents plus uh, these are the two scans which we use and uh, the chart template basically has these uh, uh, scans uh, coded it in so whenever the condition is true then you will see uh, that that particular scan will show that like say today like if you see here this is a four person breakout it is showing that this stock had a four person breakout or here it had a four person breakout or like here it had a four person breakout in fact and it had series of three four person record this was a four person record four person this was a four person to the downside similarly you can see the dollar breakout like here there was a dollar breakout and uh, here the, you had a dollar breakout so uh, let's uh, that's as far as the 4% the record is concerned. On the uh, trend intensity side, basically, you're also looking for a stock which has a continuation setup or which has a trend intensity above a certain level. So for that, uh, this is trend intensity positive. So the trend intensity is about 101.05. That will show as green. And if trend intensity is uh, above point, uh, or below 9, 0.95, then it will show bearish basically and also like say uh, if you're looking for a stock uh, which has a longer term trend like say if you look at say nvidia okay now uh, here you'll see that uh, whenever this is darker that means it is a younger trend that means the trend was just uh, 25 or 30 days old so you're basically looking for a stock which has got a, a trend which is like uh, 30 days or you can make it 25 days it doesn't matter really so which was uh, uh, which established a trend in the last 25 days and it continues to go up so preferably you want to see younger trends so that's really for what visual purpose these things are so that's setting the stage for really what we want to do now in order to do four percent breakout what uh, i'm going to do is like i'm going to run a scan and that scan is on universe universe is stocks which includes all the u.s common stocks so universe is basically what I do is I take all the US stocks, copy all of them into a watch list called universe. I take all the ETFs and copy them also into the universe. So that way you don't have to run two separate or three separate scans. And the US stocks and ETFs will not contain the American depository receipts or the Chinese stocks or Brazilian stocks or the Indian stocks trading in the US market. So all the ADRs also I copy it into a universe so that way all of these stocks are in one list so on that particular list is what i will use the four person record so the list to scan is universe and basically uh, the same uh, as what i showed you here the stock is a four percent and volume is greater than uh, yesterday's volume and volume is greater than hundred thousand once you run the scan what you find is like you'll see 146 stocks in the scan so 146 stocks satisfy the condition today uh, that they uh, what is the scan condition basically so what we are going to do is we are going to look at this 146 stocks to see a buy idea uh, similarly what we are going to do is we are going to look at a bullish side uh, dollar breakout basically where again universe and what you're looking for is the same condition as what we saw on the dollar breakout which is uh, the stock has to be up 90 cents so you have uh, 214 stocks so some of the stocks will be common or many of them will be common like this is a four percent breakout and this is also a dollar breakout so that's common uh, or like say uh, you will have uh, say the even the uh, stock like uh, jp okay this is a four percent breakout and this is dollar breakout so in order to avoid 
going through the list again and again what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to like and i have two watch list bullish working watch list which is currently empty and bearish watch list which is empty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all this bullish candidate four percent bullish copy all of them into the bullish working list and similarly i'm going to copy the uh, dollar breakouts into the bullish working list the reason to do this is that that way you're not duplicating efforts and so what you get is you get around 331 stocks which either had a four percent breakout or a dollar breakout so that's what we are looking at now this particular list uh, what i do is i sort it by dollar now uh, what is this dollar the dollar is basically uh, c minus o which is like how much is the stock up from its opening price so basically when th this is like this stock it was down one dollar from its opening price so obviously stocks which didn't hold the gains for the day are not the one which we are interested in buying so i sorted by this list and start going down the list till i find a candidate which meets a, a set up condition like this like what is what you're looking for is this kind of a setup where here you had a four percent record on this particular day where the stock was already going up for a couple of days had a sideways move series of narrow range day and then breaking out so that's the kind of setup which you're looking for basically so let's go through this 331 stocks and this is a process which happens during the day right from the market open so uh, if you find a good candidate it will be something which i would buy during the day itself like i bought jp today so let's look at like uh, you uh, it's just like and it takes you 10 minutes to do this uh, it might take this video might be longer because i'm explaining things but like say we are looking at like you know the stock is uh, obviously this is not a buy the stock is also up three days in a row and didn't close near the high so it doesn't satisfy the conditions so we go to the next one similar situation where the stock didn't close near the high so that's not something which uh, i'm going to look at uh, and this is uh, this is another stock which had a four percent breakout yesterday so this is a follow through again stock didn't hold the gains uh, so during the day so as we keep going down uh, basically most of the time for my personal trading i don't really look at stocks which are so low priced uh, because these are all like in a few cents they're making a move but for this video i'm going to be going through all this because there are a lot of people who do like trading lower price stocks and if you're a smaller account it makes sense to uh, trade them because they can make big moves like if you see here like this is almost a uh, 52 percent more so so we keep go going till we find good candidate which meets the setup definition and the setup definition is basically you're looking for a continuation setup now is this is this a good setup this is the first leg little bit choppy uh, there was a uh, consolidation small consolidation now this is a negative as far as i am concerned a big down recovery from that so i would let this kind of a stock go can it work yes many of the setups like this can also work and it can work but that's not the setup which i'm likely to personally buy kind of thing so let's keep going down till we find good setups which meet our setup definition and those setup definitions i have repeated multiple times and if you attended the boot camp you would know by now uh, i spent a lot of time on the in the boot camps uh, reiterating what to look for in a setup so shimbe therapeutics uh, this is just two days this is the first leg was very linear uh, the stock did close near the high not exactly at high maybe kind of a setup so for the time being the, i do the thing that, which i don't like is it doesn't have enough of consolidation or a pullback but like and i this uh, let's for the time being select it uh, obvi obviously like and uh, once we have some candidates we can take a critical look and decide which one to keep now something like this is too choppy it's a ipo because it hasn't traded more than three months uh, and stock didn't close near the high so that's like you know, one of the things which i uh, which can eliminate a lot of stocks because if they're not traded near the high so we keep going till we find good candidate now this radar electronics again here there was a breakout and it failed so that was a negative otherwise this was a good setup like the first leg orderly series of narrow range day this was ideal setup didn't work and now it is breaking out so is this a good setup yes it is still and the volume is higher also so that's one which you can put in uh, in your watch list or no, not watch list for a stocks to buy kind of a thing 
or something which you could have bought during the day now here you have like an essay these are the stocks which are just starting out trend this is the first leg small three four days consolidation and breaking out it's not a bad setup uh, lower priced uh, and a lot of oil and gas drilling stocks were up so that's not a bad thing so we keep looking at good setup even if that stock this stock if it had closed near the high would have been a good setup see this is the first leg three days four days sideways breaking out uh, uh, trend intensity is also going about 105 you will see that this is just turned about 105 here uh, but didn't close near the high now this is a good setup why because like see this first leg little bit choppy it's like any but uh, series of sideways move breaking out did close near the high volume was high so that's like any you have you know this is a stock is up three days in a row so obviously like the swing started here and you didn't have a signal there but that's like any this is not the kind of setup which i take because it is extended while this was a good setup why because like you had a consolidation before that so the prior uh, action prior to the breakout is important or that's one consideration which can help you and again sometimes you like and this was a nice setup here but it failed and now it had a breakout yesterday uh, two days ago and it has followed through lower price stock but like you know that's how sometimes things happen on breakouts so let's keep going um, now something like this back not a bad setup little bit like you know it was going up this is a foreign stock so it tends to uh, gap up a lot also uh, but something which i am not really keen on taking because it's tendency to gap up um, so now this is Petro Brazil. This is a good, nice setup. See, first leg, very orderly pullback or a sideways move and breaking out. And I think it was also in the anticipation uh, list, which I posted last night. And probably in the top five candidates in anticipation, uh, which I posted, I think probably uh, Petro Brazil or Petro Brazil. There is a, another Petro PBR also. Uh, this is PBR A. But uh, so we keep going till we find good setups. None of these are good setups. Obviously, if they are good setups, I would have uh, pointed them out as good setups. Okay. So let's keep going fast. Uh, Nutanix again, like st stock had this breakout, but it like ended up giving up the gains and now trying to break out. Uh, ideally, you don't want to say a setup like this. It should like and I should have had a follow up on this breakout itself. Uh, don't like to buy B grade setups basically or there is no need to buy B grade setups basically see the conditions to look for in a setup you should know by like and that should be uh, you should not have to refer to a list to find out okay, look and a first leg linear stock should not be up three days in a row should close near the high uh, there should not be 4% breakdown during the consolidation. Series of narrow range days is good. So this is a dollar breakout. Okay, now this is like, and I say the stock went up. This was a very linear first leg. Pull back a little bit like, and this is a large stock. A float is 735 million. It's not a very fast moving stock. And this is a setup which might work. Okay, it's a maybe kind of a thing basically. Uh, that's a minor pullback. However, the volume was high on that a little bit higher so that's like and that's a negative but that's possibility now one of the things which i uh, said like and i look and uh, when you're looking for anticipation setups or breakout setups also try and find setups early in their trend earlier you can find the better it is later in the trend uh, the you find setups more likely that they will reverse so that is the risk of finding a setup which is more or extended like this stock has been going up for some months uh, so that's one of the things try and like any uh, sometimes it works or many times it works but like it's better to have setups which are like now again fold uh, this is something which is a decent setup like see here gone sideways after this big gap up and then breaking out uh, close near the high also so that's a good nice setup basically uh, first four percent breakout after this long consolidation air transport services group see this is a consolidation this gap down is a concern for me so i let it go can can it work yes it can work uh, but 
I am not very confident about based on this gap down so I would let it go. Now these are all extended setups obviously stock has been going up some for some time but what you can always see is at the beginning of the trend there was a 4% breakout somewhere here uh, and series of 4% breakouts during the trend basically. So now something like this, uh, while we continue to look for setups which are a continuation setup where the trend has been established, uh, these reversal kind of setups also work like you know, when the stock has gone down for a long period of time, this is a reversal 4% breakdown uh, breakout yesterday and it did follow through, this is a dollar breakout because the volume is not high today, Okay, but it's not a buy now. Okay, uh, This new water, this is an IPO, these IPOs sometimes like you know, from the bottom they can start rallying and they can make big moves. So maybe kind of a thing as an IPA setup. Um, geez, a kick factory in CRV. Now these are all like an, one look and you should know that they are th up three days in a row. Uh, so those are not setups which are good setups. So as we keep going down, uh, this is a biotech ETF which is breaking out after this consolidation. So that's a nice setup. Um, Something like this Zoma is like an, a not enough consolidation, been like an, a not really a clean breakout, so I would let it go. So that's like an, 100 stocks, and it took us like few minutes to look at them. And I'm going much slowly today in a normal speed, I would have finished this in 10 minutes. So let's go and keep looking till you find good setups. So you'll see a lot of reversal setups happening uh, some from like you know, this is a reversal kind of a setup. See stock is just stuck in a range. Now will it have a follow through? Can this kind of setup work? Sometimes it works but like uh, we want to increase probability. So that is why I like to take stocks which have established an intensity of 105. Uh, that doesn't mean that those uh, stocks which don't have trend intensity of 105 don't work but uh, Now this is too choppy like the consolidation has been all over the place so not enough confidence that this will all follow through. It's a dollar breakout okay on a high price stock. Now this JP is uh, basically uh, like uh, uh, this was a 1.52 percent so that was one of the things so it's just like and I see this was a big up move here it almost made a 70 percent move at the top of the move was almost 78 percent and then sideways move and then breaking out and volume was high obviously now if you buy it you're looking at 14 15 percent stop uh, i bought it much earlier in the morning so that's like and really uh, the key you have to run this kind of scans during the day uh, and enter as soon as you find a good setup and that way you can benefit by get, catching the rest of the move during the day uh, like say my entry on this one was 12.25 uh, which was even late uh, late because I by the time I got like an, a full position in it had already gone to 12.25 uh, which was again itself 5-6% move or more than that I think uh, but this is a very nice setup. Uh, so then you have Juno which really didn't follow through on this particular this was a very nice setup see very compact this thing can it work this is a dollar breakout now uh, maybe kind of a thing it may work basically. So if you use a combination of dollar breakout and 4% uh, breakout you'll have something or the other every day like in at least one or two good setups you'll find every day now something like this is already a four or five days in a row so obviously it's not a good setup while well, this was a good setup here uh, from any consolidation the setup like four percent is better or from a pullback rather than an extended setup now uh, is this a good setup this is a very nice setup see series of narrow range day three four so small days breaking out like uh, 
uh, from a range if it breaks out and continues from this it will be a nice setup again before buying anything you should always look at what is the earnings this next earning is in november so there is no danger of immediate earnings on this one um, See, once you set up these scans, you will find the same stock as what other people find or like and what many other uh, newsletters and all will find because uh, you don't need anybody's picks once you have the scans and once you know the methodology and once you know what to look for. In fact, and you will get into many of these stocks much ahead of other people. Uh, Labu again, this is a breakout which is like technically this was a much better buy point on this particular one. Um, Stock didn't close near the high of that Puma Biotechnology FedEx. Large cap uh, float is 248 million. Didn't close near the high, so I would let it go. And all the obviously a gap up like this and where the stock is up 51% is something unless you had like entry right in the morning early or you are playing it intraday like this was a very nice intraday setup as a almost like an anticipation setup from which it went up around ten dollars more but uh, i would say that wait for a pullback like i don't chase breakouts like this because the risk reward is not in your favor okay so that's as far as uh, the breakouts are concerned basically i don't think any there are any more uh, that's the last one so we have basically flagged uh, how many now like so we have cbay we have rada we have esv we have fmsa we have petro brazil or pbr amgen we have fold we have newa which is the ipo kind of a setup xpi jp which is the one which i took uh, juno aw uh, and labu these are all the why setups which are there uh, and which still are valid setups in terms of entry basically. Now that's as far as the bullish side is concerned uh, and uh, I took them to like the uh, bullish side basically on this one. Now uh, what we'll look at is we'll look at uh, the bearish side so in order to see the bearish side what we'll do the same thing what we'll take is we take the four percent bearish scan and clear all flags take all these 67 stocks and st copy them to a bearish working watch list uh, that way you are avoiding duplicate efforts uh, so and copy all these to bearish watch list and now we are looking for a bearish setup and i give you an example of the kind of bearish setups which work now when you're looking for bearish setups Basically, again, I'm going to sort it by the dollar, which is and uh, stocks which are like and you know, down just one or two cents is not something which I'm interested in. Do those charts work? Yes, they can work. But like what you're basically interested in is uh, a stock which is like and you know, I don't look at most of the time. I will not look at something which is uh, less than 25 cents move. So this way you can quickly eliminate uh, setups because you don't have to look at these lower priced one. I do this uh, when I do the video I look at everything but for my personal trading I don't look at many of these stocks okay so just keep going down now see this is a good setup shot okay this is obviously triple ETF of the biotech so if there is labu is breaking out the lab is going down so that's the setup which is there as a short setup okay and we keep going down now one of the things which you'll notice is on the short side is that many of the uh, stocks they will be down third day in a row when there will be a big move. So a lot of them start with like, you know, they started move, started with 2% move down. Then there was a breakdown. So those rules which you apply on, uh, on the long side, look, stock should not be up three days in a row. Same thing doesn't really strictly apply on a shorter side. Uh, it's uh, difficult to apply that rule on short side. Just So just, let's keep on looking at until we find good setup on this now this is obviously a low price stock which had tried to make a move uh, probably will go down but like you want to see now this sun power okay uh, 
Now this is a continuation move. This is stock had a big breakdown, continuation, continuation, this is a breakdown and this small consolidation, it is breaking down from that consolidation. So this is something which can work. Obviously, stock is priced at $7.86, so it can keep going down. Um, now these are like all like and I see the here like and this is almost three days in a row the stock is down so that's not something which you want to look at. Again one of the things you'll see is many times like say this stock did break a uh, breakdown but it didn't break down with 4% breakdown it like only 2.72% breakdown so that's the threshold on breakdowns often is like an lower see now this is a good nice consolidated uh, continuation setup this is the first leg this is a counter trend bounce and then it is uh, again resuming its down move so that's one which you can look at uh, many of these kind of setups also work where the stock has made a vertical move and then it gaps down like this uh, they can continue to go down basically um, so as we keep looking You'll find this one is also another good setup. Probably the, it's too choppy in terms of like counter trend moves, but like again, see, you'll see that it did go down, go down, go down. This is a counter trend move and it might follow through. The only thing is the stock is too choppy, so uh, you will need a wider stop. So it's not really a grade kind of a setup. So you have better setups basically, or you don't have to really buy something which is not a grade setup. So you, what you'll see is that a lot of the semiconductor stocks were breaking down today, you know, like in the same way. So, but like, see how choppy this is. It's just a base which is forming near the top. So, can it have a follow through? Yes, but that's not really a setup which has a high probability, or you have enough confidence to short basically. This was a, probably a better shot yesterday. Uh, I looked at it yesterday, but I thought like you know, that didn't look like a breakdown, but it did follow through. So, but not a shot here. I wouldn't take a shot like this here now. And you will see that when you go through this uh, scans every day, you will see that which stocks are breaking down. Also, you will see that number of stocks had breakdowns today, uh, in number of extended stocks which are going up for some time had breakdown like. This chemical stock obviously is breaking down or at least for the time being its rally is over and it is going to get into some sort of a range if not going down um, and that you'll see the same thing with like in a lot of semiconductor stocks today now this kimberly clark again the same kind of a thing counter trend rally is failing this works but like uh, this was like really not a weak stock in that sense also a large stock so sometimes it's better to go ahead that the ideal candidate is something which has gone up a lot and then it breaks down and then has that counter trend move that's a better one so yeah a lot of stocks breaking down but they should set up in couple of weeks for a second leg down if the market corrects uh, which hasn't been really uh, a high probability trade most of the pullbacks in market has been uh, less than three percent but you'll see that a lot of these stocks which were like going up a lot today had reversals especially the semiconductor ones See all semiconductor stocks. See this is semiconductor ETF. Uh, should you short this kind of a move? Can it make? Yes, possible. Uh, so that's because this looked like, and I you saw in last two three days there are a lot of like in a uh, moves which were like blowout kind of moves or mini blowouts where stock just suddenly at ten dollars. $12 move uh, and then the reverse uh, uh, 
see again chemical some of the chemical moves we're getting over so if you keep going down not much I don't know why it keeps going down to that, but like, you see. So if you see, there is not much on the short side immediately actionable, like uh, you have a couple of them. I would say that this is the only one which is like you know, the best one. This again is already down a lot, so I wouldn't really be very confident about it. This is a maybe kind of a thing. This stock is down, so normally, uh, There's a big breakdown basically. So we copy all of them to the momentum bus. So you have a choice of setups now. You have long setups, so you have short setups, so like something like this. Obviously, like and if you're going to buy a Labu, you don't need to short the uh, But on the long side, uh, you had a choice, like something like this was a good in early in the morning. Uh, even this was like, and I think probably this should have been in the uh, probably must have been in the uh, uh, anticipation setup also and you had this and you had this yeah this uh, yeah this the lower priced if you have smaller account lower price stock make big moves petro brazil this is very nice setup also i don't know why pbr is not showing it might be see this also is a very nice setup so obviously it was up 3.99 just missed four percent break more but i would say that this is something which you can add as a uh, setup, which is PBR, okay? And you have this, okay? So you have a good setup of PBR, which is very nice. I think kind of one of the better uh, options out of all these options uh, today. You have Fold, which is biotechnology, and then you have maybe kind of a thing. Now, let's quickly look at uh, basically IPO breakout because IPOs you need to like and you know, treat them separately because some of them don't have enough uh, number of days. So what I do is I just create an IPO watch list which is basically stocks which have not traded uh, more than one year basically. So yeah, around 550 stocks. Around that I run IPO breakout. My IPO breakout scan is slightly like and I look for something which is up only 1% plus uh, because uh, many times on IPOs you want to be like an a uh, you may not see a 4% breakout before they break out sometimes. Uh, so that's the whole thing. So uh, you have this NEWA, Bedu, which is extended, and uh, Nutanix, which really should have followed up two days ago. And then you can look at some of these, like this is not a bad set of CBRX. Um, so that's one. That even the red fin it was trying to break out from this consolidation. So you have like kind of basically not much here if you look at Vista Energy. So you have one which will put it into that momentum bus. So this is based on 4%, right? But that's not the only thing which we look for. Like coming in today, we had also uh, anticipation. And if you look at many of those anticipation setups worked, uh, see like this, all these were like anticipation setups basically. And so many of them uh, actually triggered like this kind of a thing, actually triggered like, and it did, was not a 4% record, but it did, or Petro Brazil or weight or EMS. So combination of setups you're using to some of this will allow you to get in early into many of the same 4% breakout which we are looking at. And in addition, uh, I made a video a couple of days ago about low threshold breakout. So in addition to this 4% breakout, um, I also run a low threshold breakout scan, which is basically universe again on that. I'm running this scan, which looks for something which may not satisfy our condition of 4% breakout, but like something like PBR will show up here. See PBR is here. So you can find many more candidate and you will never run out of ideas once you set up all these scans and once you know what to look for in this scan, so how to find ideas. And when you do a combination of uh, 
uh, anticipation, low threshold breakout, 4% and dollar breakout, uh, you will have enough candidates to look for intraday idea as well as for uh, swing trading ideas and also ideas for a longer term because something which is just a primary breakout, which is just starting out from a longer consolidation or a base is something which might be something which you might like and play for a longer term kind of a thing. So those are the setups, ideas from which you can find ideas. So uh, let me just quickly go through uh, the bullish low threshold kind of a uh, thing. So this is like bullish working list which we had, which had all the 4% breakouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flag all of these because when I want to go through the uh, low threshold, I don't want to replicate my effort of stocks which are up like an, uh, basically uh, dollar or 4%. So I put all those back into this list and I'm going to take out the one which are uh, Once you removed, you get 142 stocks to look at and those are the one which I'll look at quickly to see if there are some more ideas, buy ideas. Uh, so like you have a lot of these uh, technology, uh, no, uh, the oil and gas stocks which are looking nice. You see this is the first leg small, this is like an, a very early in the trend. If this trend catches on, you will get a probably a very early entry into it because it had just turned. Okay, so. This is a gate like it was in anticipation also, but that's the breakout basically. Uh, you have CHGG, which is very choppy here, so I don't like this. It may or may not work, uh, but. There are not much additional thing which we found. Petro Brazil, see as I said, like and so that's something I'll copy flag to momentum burst. So you have some additional ideas which you can get uh, probably after using the low threshold breakout scan. This is also a nice setup. See, it's up four point. The volume wasn't really V by V one condition was not made, but like as a setup, that is a nice setup. So you have that. You have rain. That is not a bad setup also. This also might work. Uh, it's probably not only stuck in a range, but this was series of narrow range days. So if it works maybe kind of a setup and now we are really at like something which is up only less than 20 cents so I'm not really going to go through all of that but you have some more ideas so let's copy all of those to the momentum burst and now you have a lot more ideas to play around with which is basically uh, you have Labu, you have AW, then you have Juno and you have JP, which I don't think anyone should enter now. It's too late to enter. You have XPI, you have NEWA, which is the IPO. Uh, volume was high, highest volume probably in its entire trading career. So something to look at probably fold, which is a nice, very nice breakout close near the high. Uh, it's also like uh, the float is 104.2 million. The sector is working here also. This is a low threshold breakout here probably. 
Amgen, then you have DVN, VRX, which is again an IPO. See here, nice setup, first leg, sideways, breaking out. Uh, then you have Bristol-Myers, Petro-Brazil. Petro-Brazil, I, I like this a lot. Like It looks very nice as a setup, basically. Uh, then FMSA, ESV, Helix Energy, Rada, Shimbe. And on the short side, as I said, I wouldn't be uh, really excited with any one of these because if you have to take this, you would rather take the Labu instead of taking this as a short. So, so that's it. Uh, the basically the key is to set up all these scans yourself, know what to look for, and then do this analysis real time during the day. If you are a full time trader, if you are a working person obviously you have challenges which are different which is in terms of you have to look through all these and then take a decision look and what is it that i want to uh, get into do i want to like and really get into a very extended trend like this or do i want to like and buy something which is more starting out kind of a thing i would say that something like petro brazil i might look at but still uh, it is also like still uh, it already has made some move uh, but that's something which is a uh, uh, issue which uh, is more related to your ability to get into stocks uh, during the day uh, which is diff which makes life difficult especially for trading breakout kind of things where the stocks can make big moves like this kind of a setup it's difficult for a working person to get in and sometimes you have to get out of these setups in two or three days intraday itself because of the uh, kind of moves many of these kind of setups make so that's the thing which you have to keep in mind. Uh, so this is how you can use the 4% breakout and the dollar breakout to find ideas and also I showed you low threshold breakout and all of these scans and all of these things are under the learning areas and there are a lot of videos, earlier videos which I have done explaining how to do this and if you do this you should never be running out of ideas and you don't need to rely on anybody to find ideas for you. You can find exactly the same ideas which other people will find or other services will find so you can find all of these things on your own and uh, you can also anticipate many of these breakouts using anticipation scan.